He had one million, eight million in sales. My bad. Eight million in sales, and uh, that got him, um, well, two Rolls Royces, as, as I said. So, yeah. And then, and what happened next is uh, what we've heard last week, where he basically was uh, deleted. Yes, let's take a look at what really happened. Fair use. If you live in Atlanta, or if you know someone who lives in Atlanta, then you know today the city of Atlanta suffered a great loss, as it's been reported that this young entrepreneur who owned the Boiler Seafood Restaurant in Atlanta and co-owned the Seafood Menu Restaurant with rapper Lil Baby was tragically found shot this afternoon in his Rolls Royce. Police responded to 480 John Wesley Dobbs Avenue Northeast about a person who had been shot. Police said the man was found in critical condition but later died from his injuries. Now, ATL Scoop reported that he actually moved here from Brooklyn, New York, and his parents were actually immigrants from Jamaica. And after he graduated high school, he attended Howard University and studied business. After he found great success in the culinary world, created a foundation to help incarcerated individuals start their own business upon their release. Let's be sure to keep his family in our prayers. Police still haven't released any information as to if there's a suspect. So be sure to you would live in Atlanta. Yeah, so we're talking about Chad Dillon. He's best known for the Boiler Seafood and Crab Bowl restaurant in Buckhead, which he opened in 2020 and achieved massive success. He was a real hustler. I mean, innovator, um, a, a good eye for business, because if you look at what he did, um, the story goes, he was in Atlanta. He came from, of course, New York. Um, and he observed that there were a lot of people were driving miles and miles to go to the nearest seafood restaurant. And he thought, Meh, why don't I open up a business, a restaurant that's also a seafood restaurant in the neighborhood? And well, that went pretty well. He sold in the first year or so, one million in, uh, he had one million, eight million in sales, my bad. Eight million in sales. And uh, that got him, um, well, two Rolls Royces, as, as I said. So, yeah. And, then, and what happened next is uh, what we've heard last week, where he basically was... Uh, deleted in what seems according to police a targeted attack RJ yeah first and foremost uh, I want to extend my my condolences to the family um, I don't know him personally uh, but just hearing his his accolades all he's done is pretty clear that he is someone who worked hard to get where he is um, build it up step by step was known in the in Atlanta so you want to have um, as a law firm owner myself and thus a business owner I always like to see people thrive in business and so these type of stories speak to me and yeah it's heartbreaking to think that you can build something from scratch all the sacrifices you made all the hard work probably has a family uh, and so you do everything a, a bit for yourself but also for the people around you you have projects that help people who are incar incarcerated to get back into society and you know get get their footing uh, with yeah, their own background and run their businesses and so to have your life taken away from you like that it's pretty sad now we don't know what the we don't have all the information because the police isn't reporting anything and uh i think you said that yeah, it, it seems to be a targeted attack 
Yes, because um, according to police, so the, the story goes as follows. Um, he has, like I said, he has, he's the owner or uh, co-owner of uh, the boiler, uh, the boiler seafood. But he also co-owns, co-founded the seafood menu restaurant with Lil Baby. You know, Lil Baby the rapper. Last year they opened up that uh, that that location, and and it, it's supposed to help younger people get into the the workplace and also develop their skills and and further grow in their in their careers. And he was at the brink of opening a new restaurant, which is called Dipped in Butter, uh, Dipped and Butter. I think it's pronounced Dipped in Butter. But um, they, they were uh, in, uh, working on that restaurant and he went to his car, according to friends, and um, and was, uh, uh, yeah, hit when he went out to his car. So it seems like they were waiting for him to get out there and it was in broad daylight and he was hit in his car. So it is, it's crazy. And the, the thing is as well, and this is, this is, um, a situation like you said it's uh, as a, as a person who who, who likes that uh, people who work on 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 projects develop their skills because it takes it's people think um building a business is is easy it's it's something you do overnight but it's it's not that way it, these are these are skills that he is he's developed throughout the years because it's not his first business he started um but these are skills you develop in in a lot of years and to, to build a to, to find a niche an opening in the market and to exploit it to the point you're making eight million in the first year um that that takes that takes skill it's not something you can do and there's sometimes people people i don't want to say this people become envy envious I mean, the guy was driving around. I'm gonna share share the video right here. The guy was driving around in his Rolls Royce. The guy was, as you can see here, he. This is his uh, his own uh, his own uh, Instagram where he was sharing his his Rolls Royce with the world, showing people that he was doing good. And sometimes people don't like that. Sometimes people get envious of of your success yeah but i think there must the envy might play a role but i think it can be more than that right so if it's a targeted attack i don't think that someone would just stay in would just be triggered to make a move simply because someone is thriving i do think that something might have happened maybe a confrontation uh and People who don't have anything to lose might uh, go home or go to the trunk. Well, this wasn't going to the trunk because they planned it. They were basically waiting, waiting, waiting for him to arrive. So it's premeditated. I think it's probably gonna. It's if we get more information, it's probably gonna be more than that. But that's always the the that's always the risk of. showing the streets what's on your plate yeah the streets is filled with hungry people the streets is also filled with with ignorant people and so that's definitely not that for sure for certain it doesn't justify anything but i do think that these people they have certain my um issues with themselves they might indeed be a bit envious and when someone talks to them like that they're they're thinking oh just because you're driving two rolls royces you think you're doesn't gonna make you better doesn't make you better but the guy maybe the guy just said please don't come shirtless in my restaurant you know we've seen examples where yep. where someone is just applying the rules there's a rule you can come shirtless and then the other person either pulls out a blicky or starts swinging like but those things play a role because people especially people who have self-esteem issues yep. will feel threatened they will feel like the guy is thinking that he's better than me but that's probably not what he was thinking 
and of course these these are, are these are all speculation right the, in cases like this people start speculating the other and the the other side too they might think okay was he involved in something because that's of course another sure. question that's gonna that's gonna that might rise up was he involved in something that he shouldn't have uh but these are all um, these are all speculations i just know that as an entrepreneur you don't like you you I enjoy seeing entrepreneurs thrive. I enjoy seeing stories like this. And uh, from what you've shown in the in the video, he is he has had po an, uh, a positive impact on the Atlanta community. So yeah, because again, rest in peace to him and 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 strength to his family.